The British House of Commons, the mother of parliaments. Could it really be that in years gone by, there were paedophiles in here who were part of a wider ring and among its members were one or more of the most senior politicians in this country? That, apparently, is now what a new government inquiry is going to try to find out. Child abuse is a hateful, abhorrent and disgusting crime and we must not allow these allegations to go unanswered. And I therefore urge anybody who has information relating to these allegations to go to the police. The allegations date back to the 1970s and 80s and children's care homes in Wales, including this one. It's claimed that children here were repeatedly abused, often raped, effectively sold to paedophiles. Boys who were at this children's home, who are now men, are coming forward in increasing numbers. We used to lie at night, terrified who was going to be next sort of thing. Uh, I had under the sheets um, and just up or pretend you were sleeping or summered um, because they would come to you and take you to a flat within the home, um, a top flat, um, and they'd be abused, sexually abused, raped. The police and government investigated at the time. There were some arrests, but many who say they were victims have claimed their stories were dismissed as fantasies, not anymore. Several well-known politicians from the era of the then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher have been named on social networks in recent days, but journalists can't say who they are in public for fear of being sued for libel. Society at large, meanwhile, can barely bring itself to accept some of these allegations because they're simply so horrifying. The dreadful fear, as yet unproven, is that senior politicians in the 1970s and 1980s were working in tandem with the police to cover up organised paedophilia. This, of course, follows hard after the growing evidence of organised paedophilia by a recently deceased British celebrity called Jimmy Savile. He worked at the BBC for decades, and it too is now under investigation over the extent to which it may have turned a blind eye to his abuse. Suddenly, in just a few weeks, allegations of organised paedophilia by some of the most famous people in Britain has become a staple of the daily news. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in London.